100 years ago, the farm credit system was founded when President Woodrow Wilson signed the Federal Farm Loan Act on July 17, 1916. Its founding vision was for a cooperative model to provide the necessary credit to America's agriculture and rural communities. Over the past 100 years, America's farm families and agricultural businesses have made innovative advances to feed a growing population and serve a changing marketplace. The farm credit system has evolved right along with them. Throughout its rich history, farm credit has experienced challenges, but it's also adapted and grown into the strong system we know today, a system dedicated to the success of farmers, commercial fishermen, and forest products producers. Throughout the history of the farm credit system, Northeast leaders have played key roles to help build farm credit as a financially strong, member-owned cooperative. The first major change to the system came just after its founding. The Agricultural Credits Act of 1923 established 12 federal intermediate credit banks to provide non-mortgage ag loans. The 1930s brought the next major change. Along with the general economy, American agriculture was devastated. With the election of President Franklin Roosevelt in 1933, Congress quickly passed two major pieces of legislation, the Emergency Farm Mortgage Act and the Farm Credit Act. This legislation created farmer-owned production credit associations to lend money for production purposes. Additionally, it created the Bank for Cooperatives, which enabled the system to finance farm marketing and supply organizations. World War II challenged our nation's farmers to produce the rapidly growing food and fiber needs of both America's troops and our European allies, with less farm labor and a scarcity of other farm inputs. The agriculture community responded admirably. This increased production enabled the federal land banks to repay government capital by 1947. The war was followed by a period of incredible advances in productivity, equipment, and technology. President Eisenhower signed the Farm Credit Act of 1953 which again separated the Farm Credit Administration from the USDA. This buffered the system from partisan political influence and brought the system one step closer to farmer ownership, which was ultimately achieved in 1968. The Farm Credit Act of 1971 broadened the system's lending authority to include commercial fishing, rural homes, and farm-related businesses. It also enabled associations to provide credit-related services, such as farm records, business consulting, and tax services. The 1980s brought a storm for American agriculture. Farm commodities accumulated to price-depressing levels, even as a rising dollar reduced export demand. Interest rates had risen to double digits. Farm incomes plummeted, followed by a crash in farmland values and the demise of many commercial banks in America's heartland. Farm credit also suffered. As a result, Congress passed the Farm Credit Act Amendments of 1987, which enabled the system to use federal loans to restore capital and to reorganize to become more efficient, while adopting improved lending and risk management practices. From this came the model we use today an agricultural credit association governed by a strong board of directors. The ACA model allows producers to obtain real estate, production, and other types of loans at one local institution. In the decades since the 1980s, the farm credit system has achieved significant growth and success, and that results directly from the success of farmer owners. We salute their integrity and their continued drive for efficiency and productivity. For the past 20 years, we have shared farm credit success with members through our patronage program. Nearly $600 million has been returned to our members since the program's inception. 
Farm Credit's founding tenants remain as strong today as they did in the early years. Customer ownership, unsurpassed expertise, and a deep commitment to borrower success today and tomorrow. Here in the Northeast, the future of agriculture is bright. With more than 12 million acres in farmland, agriculture is very much a part of our region's working landscape. Northeast agriculture, commercial fishing, forest products and related businesses create a $103 billion economic impact and support more than 480,000 jobs. And through programs such as Farm Start and other programs and workshops to assist and develop the skills of young and beginning farmers, Farm Credit East is committed to growing the next generation of Northeast agriculture. As this vital sector of our economy continues to grow and develop, Farm Credit will be there as a reliable source of credit and financial services, just as we have been for the past 100 years. We have strong earnings and are committed to building capital to serve you through all industry cycles. And as our history proves, we will continue to adapt our business to best meet your needs and remain your trusted financial partner today and tomorrow.